Hi, welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Melissa Bowen of the Public and Congressional Affairs Office. For warfighters to perform at their best at an increasingly high up-tempo, their basic needs of food, clothing, and shelter must be taken care of first. And when it comes to food, the Department of Defense Combat Feeding Directorate, located in Natick, Massachusetts, is always looking for ways to improve food quality and taste, nutrition, and packaging. The Unitized Group Ration Express and the First Strike Ration are the program's latest developments, each serving a specific need for today's warfighters. In addition to our continuous product improvement program for the MRE, uh, we have also in the process of uh, fielding uh, two new rations. In fact, one of them is already reaching warfighters in the AOR, and that's what we call the Unitized Group Ration Express. The intent behind its design was to provide warfighters in remote units or the military uh, training teams the capability to have a high quality hot group meal. Uh, the, the way of doing it uh, prior to the introduction of the Unitized Group Ration Express was to form convoys and then put food in insulated food containers and drive that product to those, to those remote units. Um, often they were hit with, uh, with IEDs either coming or going. So based on the asymmetric battlefield, we came up with a system that provides a high quality hot meal that requires no cook, no fuel, no equipment, and no power. And basically what that is, this is the concept that you see here, and uh, this is designed just for display purposes. But what we see is a system that provides an entree, a vegetable, a starch, and a dessert. It has all of the disposable eating ware. It has the uh, seasonings, even the trash bag. And what, it, what you do is you basically pull this tab, which is shown here. And when you pull the tab, you actually will see uh, a saline solution that will actually cover uh, that flameless ration heater and in about 40 minutes you actually have a piping hot meal for those 18 warfighters. So that's a real capability that we've added to the warfighter. The other thing that we're in the process of fielding, and this should be uh, first unit equipped hopefully by January, is the first strike ration. This was designed for warfighters operating outside the wire of a fob on a foot patrol four to seven days where their rucksack is actually their resupply system. Obviously they prioritize what they put in there to minimize weight and cube. Ammunition, batteries, water, medical supplies, sappy plate for example. The last thing that goes in is food, so what they were doing is field stripping MREs. And we'd give them two or three, they'd throw about 50 percent of that away, and obviously we lost control of the nutrition warfighters so desperately need, because not any single warfighter took the same thing. So we came up with something called the first strike ration, which is basically designed to be totally consumed on the move. So rather than three MREs, we issue one first strike ration, there's 3,000 calories in this ration, and everything in there is designed to be eaten out of hand. The main component of the first strike ration is the shelf-stable pocket sandwich, which is very similar to a hot pocket that you'd buy in the frozen food section. You take it home and you'd nuke it. In this case, it's a shelf-stable product that will stay very, very high quality for two years. We field tested this item uh, in both Iraq and Afghanistan, along with the UGRE, and warfighter feedback help us refine that and optimize not only the quality, the content, but the packaging as well. The DOD Combat Feeding Directorate works very hard to leverage technology to provide high quality food and hydration products for warfighters. And they do this by working closely with the men and women they support. They really stand by their motto, warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, and warfighter approved. Well, that about does it for this week's edition of the AMC News Dispatch. And don't forget to visit the AMC website and click on the news and information link on the left hand side for the latest items of interest about the command. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you next time.